في ذا الأمجاد قد عظمات فللأمجاد بانيها ومن يسعى إلى العليا سيدركها بما فيها ويبني مجده جدلا فروح الفاذ يعليها ليصبح همة تروي عن العليا Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the K-Way Math Show with me, your host, Muhammad Kota from the K-Way Mathematics Institute here in Johannesburg. Uh, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, we've, we're now going into a continuation from yesterday's episode where we started off with sequences and series. Um, we did the quadratic number pattern and we focused on the formula yesterday. Today we're going into the application of it. So it's very important that you have watched yesterday's episode to be able to understand what is going to be done in today's episode when we actually do the application of the formula. Now, once again, I'm telling you boys and girls, and this is what we say at the beginning and the end of every show, that what we're doing is just making you understand what's happening and preparing you for the final exams. Obviously, you need more practice and if you need uh, more intensive training, please make sure that you purchase our set, the K-Way Mathematics DVD set, 12 discs at, uh, for an ITV special at 1450 that covers the entire grade 10, 11 and 12 syllabus, paper 1 and paper 2, cap syllabus over 12 discs. So boys and girls, please make sure that you get the set and you can work with the set and the program in conjunction with your, with your workbook. This, this set here is for teachers, it's for learners, as well as for parents who'd like to up their skills. If you're a learner, if you know that your teacher is going to be starting on quadratic number patterns tomorrow, pull out the disc, put it in, I'll come up live showing you exactly what's happening. You can go back into class and you can start showing your teacher new tricks in mathematics. So please make sure that you, if you would like to place an order, place your order via Kway Math at gmail.com. Let's get back into sequences and series. The opening chapter or the, in fact, today being the final episode, the final pre-recording, not the live show. Remember our live show still takes place tomorrow. This is our final pre-recording for Ramadan. And inshallah, we hope that the show will continue for the rest of the year so that we can mentor you, grade 11 and 12, in mathematics and physical science, inshallah, right through until your final exams 2015. So, let's start. Question number one, this is what the question will, how the question will appear in the exam. Let's start off very basic. I'm going to start you off with basic and we're going to move up to very advanced. So let's start. They give you the number pattern 2, 5, 8, 11. Question number one, extend by two terms. Question number two, find Tn, the general expression. And question number three, find the 20th term. So let's look at the answers. These are the questions. Let's go to our answers. 2, 5, 8, 11. We can already see that this has got a first difference of three. So is it linear or is it geometric? It is a linear pattern. So let's start. So 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, 8, 11. From 2 to get to 5 plus 3. From 5 to get to 8, plus 3. 8 to 11, plus 3. They want you, answer to question number 1, they want you to extend by two terms if it behaves in the same pattern. So all we'll do, we'll say 11 plus 3 to give me 14, 14 plus 3 to give me 17. So your first two terms being 14 and 17. Question number two, find T in the general expression. Now going back to our yesterday's mind map, where we told you sequences broken into two parts, arithmetic and geometric. Let's now go into the arithmetic. In our arithmetic we had Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D. So Tn is equal to A. What is A? A represents your first term. What's your first term? 2. So we got 2 plus N minus 1. What's your common difference here? Your common difference is? 3. All we do, we remove the brackets. We've got 2 plus, multiply it out, 3n minus 3. So Tn is equal to 3n, 2 minus 3 minus 1. And there we go. Tn is equal to 3n minus 1. That is your general expression for that number pattern. Okay, let's go on to question number 3. Find the 20th term. So we want to find T20. 
So question number 3, T20 is equal to, for every N, I'm going to put 20, 3 into 20 minus 1. 3 times 20 is 60 minus 1, 59. And there we go. We've answered the first three. We've answered the three questions on the arithmetic number pattern, and you'll get yourself probably two marks, three marks, three marks. So two and three is five. Five and three, eight. There's an eight mark question for grade eleven. Grade twelves, you know, you're not going to see this in the exam. You're going to see the more higher order questions. Okay. So let's get started. Let's do one. This was an arithmetic. Let's do one geometric. We've done the quadratic already for grade 11, and grade 11, that's where you're going to stop. It's very basic for you. Grade 11, you only need to know arithmetic, one pattern in arithmetic, one pattern in geometric, one pattern in quadratic, and that's it for you. Grade 12s, you know that's where the candy hits the fan. So let's get started. Okay, let's make up one. Let's make up one, and let's say, let's take the first term as 4. We take the next term as 2. Mm, the next one is 1, and we say continuing to infinity. They give you a number pattern like this, and they tell you same set of questions. F extend the pattern by two terms, find t and the general expression, and say find the tenth term. Okay, so extend by two terms. So how would we do it? Now remember, for this one here has got a common ratio. And how do we find our common ratio? t3 divided by t2 is equal to t2 divided by t1. Let's check whether it's got a common ratio. Okay, so what is t3? 1 over term 3 divided by term 2 over term 2 is equal to term 2 divided by term 1. Half is equal to four, 2 over 4 is a half. Half is equal to a half, so it's got a common ratio. So now that we know that it's got a common ratio, can it be arithmetic? No. What is it? Geometric. So if it's a geometric number pattern and we need to, remember in the geometric um, number pattern, it's your first term times your common ratio to give you your second term. Your second term times your common ratio to give you your third term and so on and so forth going on to infinity. So we've got a common ratio here of a half. So we know we want to continue this. So we know it's four times a half to give me 2, 2 times a half to give me 1, 1 times a half to give me a half, and a half times a half to give me a quarter. So there we go, we've extended the geometric pattern by two terms. We now want to find out what is Tn, the general expression. So let's start. Tn, the general expression, Tn is equal to, because it's geometric, it's a geometric Let's put geo like that. It's a geometric number pattern. Tn is equal to ar to the power n minus 1. Remember from our mind map. Right. So Tn is equal to, what's your a value? 4. What's your common ratio? Half to the power n minus 1. Do I multiply the 4 inside? No, I can't. Why? Because it's got an exponent n minus 1. n minus 1 belongs to the half, not to the 4. So we leave it exactly like that. Okay. And that's it. Now, what if they told you question number three, find the sixth term. Find the sixth term. Now, yes, you can go and do it physically, one, two, three, four, five. You know the sixth term here is going to be one over eight. But what if they told you find the sixteenth term? Are you going to go and multiply it by a half sixteen times? No, you're going to just be, you're just going to be using the formula. So find the sixth term, we're going to say Tn is equal to 4 into a half to the power n minus 1. So they want the sixth term, T6 is equal to 4 into a half to the power for every n, what am I going to plug? 6 minus 1, which is equal to 4 into a half to the power 6 minus 1 is 5. Now you can use your calculator. So 1 to the power 5 is 1 over 2 to the power 5 is 32, which is equal to 4 times 1 is 4 over 1 times 32 is 32. 4 over 32 is 1 over 8. And there we know. We know the sixth term there is going to be 1 over 8. Okay, so here goes. All you have to do is just take in when they tell you find the sixth term or find the tenth term. After you've got the general formula, take the value, plug it in, use your calculators, and you'll get the correct answer. Okay, so we've done one arithmetic, we've done quadratic, we've done geometric. We're now going to go into grade 12 style questions. And let's start now with the big questions, those questions that are worth six to eight marks in your exam. 
Okay, so this is it for grade 11. Grade 11, it's as simple as that. Just remember, linear Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D. Uh, geometric Tn is equal to AR to the power N minus 1. Your linear has got a common difference. T3 minus T2 equals T2 minus T1. And your geometric has got a common ratio. T3 divided by T2 is equal to T2 divided by T1. That's all that you grade 11s need to know. Grade 12s, I'm going to put up a question before we cut for an ad break. Okay, I'm going to put up a question here. It's going to be worth 6 to 8 marks. And let's see how well you do. So let's put it up. We say in an arithmetic sequence, the fifth term, the fifth term is 4 and the eleventh term is 100. Find the sequence. Find the sequence. 8 marks. That's your question in the exam. This is a grade 12 opening question. Okay, boys and girls, in an, uh, in an arithmetic sequence, the fifth term is 4 and the eleventh term is 100. Find the sequence. Right, we're cutting now for an ad break. Grade 12s, you've now got 3 minutes. 3 minutes to try and crack this problem. Let's see how good you are. Stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the K-Way Math Show. Before the break, we broke away with a question. We're busy doing sequences and series uh, for grade 12s. Now, we broke away with this question where we, uh, I gave you guys three minutes during the ad break to try and crack it, grade 12s. In an arithmetic sequence, the fifth term is 4 and the eleventh term is 100. Find the sequence. Now, it's arithmetic. It's arithmetic, so we know we need A and D. Which are the two alphabets that we need? We require A to get our first term, and we require D, our common difference. Because once we get A, and we got our common difference, my first term plus my common difference will be my second term. My second term plus my common difference will be my third term. Plus my common difference will be my fourth term, fifth, six, going on to infinity. They want you to find that sequence. They want you to find that sequence. Right. Now, what I want you to, I want you now just to put down your pens and listen. Listen very carefully to what I'm telling you. Look at what's given. This is type one. Let's call it type one. Now, how do we identify type one, boys and girls? Type one, we identify it when a random term, when two random terms are given. Right? Can you see? The fifth term is given and the eleventh term is given. So when the fifth term and the eleventh term, the sixth term and the eightieth term, the two hundredth term and the ten thousandth term, makes no difference whenever two random terms are given. So write down the rule. This is a rule that you will never get in schools. So take down this rule. Whenever two random terms are given, whenever random terms, so here's the rule, whenever rules, Whenever for type 1, this is the rule for type 1, because whenever two random terms are given, if it's arithmetic, right, or whether it's arithmetic or whether it's geometric, we always use simultaneous equations. There we go, the rule, it's one simple basic rule, you need simultaneous, you need two separate equations, you've got a random term, one equa equation number one. You've got another random term, equation number two. Work simultaneously, equation one and two, solve for A and D. So let's start. We're now solving for A and D. Right. The fifth term, T5. What did we say from our mind map? T5 in arithmetic is known as A plus 4D. So A plus 4D is equal to, term five is A plus 4D. Remember we said term 10 was A plus 9D. Term five, A plus 4D is 4. And now they tell you term 11, term 11, what do, what, is, what do you think term 11 is called? If term 5 is A plus 4D, what do you think term 11 is called? A plus 10D. A plus 10D is equal to how much? 100. That's equation number 1. 
that's equation number two. Now you can do it by substitution or you can do it by elimination. I'm going to say equation two minus equation number one. Equation two minus equation number one. So a minus a will give me zero. 10d minus 4d, 6d is equal to 100 minus 4, 96. Divide by 6, divide by 6. D is equal to 16. Right? Now we got, we got now D is equal to 16. Take the 16, put it into any equation. Let's put it into the first equation. A plus 4 into 16 is equal to 4. A plus 4 times, 16 times 4 is 64 is equal to 4. A is equal to 4 minus 64. A is equal to negative 60. So there we go. We got A, we've got A, and we've got D. Now that we got A and we got D, we, what was the question? Find the sequence. So if A is minus 60, so you got minus 60, now you've got plus 16, right? Remember, your first term plus your common difference. So minus 60 plus 16, minus 44, minus 44 plus 16, minus 28. You just need to put your first three terms and that's fine. And there we go, that's your sequence. You'll get yourself eight marks for this. Six to eight marks, boys and girls on finding the sequence. Now they can ask you, find, uh, say, th this was the question number one, find the sequence, question number one, and now they can also say question number two, find the 30th term. Okay, let's answer question number two. This was the answer to question number one. Okay, this is the answer to question number one. Let's answer question number two. On this side here, question number two, we've got minus 60, we've got minus 44, we've got negative 28. We now need to find Tn, the general, they want the 30th term. In fact, the 30th term is known as A plus 29D. Yes or no? T30 is known as A plus 29D. What's your first term? Minus 60 plus 29 into your common difference, your common difference was 16. So what do we have? Minus, minus 60 plus 29 times 16, negative 60 plus 29 into 16, close brackets, equals 404. And there we go, boys and girls. That's the answer to question number two. This was stack number one, where we had two random terms. A random term and a random term, we had two simultaneous, we had simultaneous equations. Okay, let's now go into type two. Right? Now you have seen this in the exam. Let's see what type 2 looks like. Okay. Type 2 looks like this. I tell you 3x minus 4, 4x minus 3, and 7x minus 6 are the first three terms of an arithmetic progression. Now, arithmetic progression or an arithmetic sequence is exactly, means exactly the same thing. In the old days, they used to call it APs and GPs. We call it ASs and GSs now. Makes no difference, still the same thing. Arithmetic progression, arithmetic sequence. Okay, now what is so different between type 1 and type 2? Type 1, 2 random terms were given. A random term was given, the 5th term was given, and the 11th term was given. But the sequence, and the sequence wasn't given. Here your sequence is given, but you are seeing unknowns. You've got an X or you've got a Y in your sequence. So obviously, what is the rule for this? Let's put down the rule for this. Whenever you see unknowns, when you see unknowns in an arithmetic progression, in an AP, we know we're going to be using the common difference formula to solve for x. And if it's in a GP, a geometric progression or a geometric sequence, we're going to be using the common ratio formula. And you know there are two different ratios. There are two different formula. The common difference formula, just to recap, T3 minus T2 equals T2 minus T1. The common ratio formula, T3 over T2 equals T2 over T1. So there are two equations. So let's answer. That's the question. The question number one, solve for x. Question number two, find the first three terms. Question number three, take and tell you find the 50th term. 
Okay, so those are your questions. Let's start answering. Question number one. Now, it's so easy because once you know these rules, once you know these types, you can just take the rule and apply the rule. So here goes. What's given? Unknowns are given. So if unknowns are given, what is it? Arithmetic or geo geometric? It's arithmetic. So for arithmetic, what formula do we use? Common difference formula. Straight. So T3 minus T2 is equal to T2 minus T1. So what do we have? 7x minus 6 minus 4x minus 3 is equal to 4x minus 3, that's T2, minus T1, minus 3x minus 4. Right? Remove the brackets. 7x minus 6 minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 4x minus 3 minus 3x plus 4. 7x minus 4x, 3x minus 3 is equal to x plus 1. 3x minus x, 2x is equal to 1 plus 3 is 4. x is equal to 2. There we go. We've solved for x. We've answered the first question. Okay? Let's now go on to. Now, what I'd like you to do, what I'd like you to do is that during, we're going to be uh, cutting for an ad break shortly. What I'd like you to do is I want you to try and to try on your own and see whether you can now find the first three terms and find the 50th term. What do you think is going to happen? We've solved for x. We used the common difference formula. We got x. We're now going to take x to find the first three terms. We're going to take x. We're going to substitute it into each of this uh, into each of these expressions to find our first three terms. Term 50 is going to be known as a plus 49d. We're then going to substitute the a and our common difference. And yes, we are going to get our final answers. Okay, so boys and girls, what I'd like you guys to do, I'd like you to start working through this as well. And if you've got an opportunity, our email address is on the screen, kwaymath at gmail.com. Please make sure... Uh, communicate to us, send us an email, let us know, place your orders for our DVDs. Remember, the DVD set here is 12 DVDs that cover everything. Just to give you a quick, um, uh, before we cut for, an, uh, cut for an ad break, I'm going to go through some of the topics. We've got the whole of quadratics, we've got exponents, nature of roots, the whole of functions, calculus, sequences and series, trigonometry, analytics, finance, geometry, data handling, probability. So obviously you would want this series here is only for certain, uh, we're covering certain topics and it's going to take over, it's going to be over a longer period of time. So if you want to get cracking and get working, remember it's only 24 hours. Each disc is two hours. Each disc is two hours. So you've got 24 hours to master the entire grade 10, 11 and 12, paper one and paper two. So boys and girls and parents, if you're watching the show, Email us, place your orders, kwaymath at gmail.com and we'll get the set out to you. Let's cut for an ad break. When we get back from the ad break, we'll continue with more hectic problems. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, to the K Welcome back to the K-Way Math Show with me, your host, Mohammed Kota, from the K-Way Mathematics Institute here in Johannesburg on this uh, ITV special for preparing the grade 11s and 12s for 2015 for the final examinations this year. We now started, before we went for the ad break, we broke away with uh, a question in sequences and series. We said, we gave you, we showed you type 2, 3x minus 4, 4x minus 3, 7x minus 6 are the first three terms of an arithmetic progression. We solve for x. I told you, we, here's the rule. If unknowns are given, we going, if it's arithmetic, we're going to use the common difference formula. If it's geometric, we're going to be using the common ratio formula. So obviously, this was an arithmetic progression. So we started with the common difference formula and we solve for x. I told you during the break, you had three minutes to find the first three terms and to find the 50th term. So obviously... To answer question number two, to answer, I'm just moving over here to the side because of space. To answer question number two, find the first three terms. We got 3x minus 4. So we got 3 into, we got x, 2. 3 into 2 minus 4, that's your first term. 4 into 2 minus 3, that's your second term. 7 into 2 minus 6, and that is your third term, right? 3x minus 4, 4x minus 3, 7x minus 6. So 3 times 2, 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 3 is 5, 7 times 2 is 14, minus 6 is 8. So we got 258. 
That is the first three terms of this arithmetic progression. Find the 50th term, guys. Question number three, answer to question number three, T50 is known as A plus 49D, which is equal to A2 plus 49 into your common difference being 3. Remember, your common difference is 3, which is equal to 2 plus. 49 times 3 is 147. So 2 plus 147 is 149. And there we go. Term 50 would be 149 in that arithmetic progression. So now we are done with the arithmetic progression. We now go, we did type 1 and type 2. Let's just do a quick recap. What was type 1? Type 1 was when two random terms were given. What rule did I give you? Simultaneous equations. Type 2, when unknowns are given, what rule did I give you? If it's arithmetic, common difference formula. If it's geometric, common ratio formula. Okay, we're now going into the geometric progression and the types that could appear under a geometric progression. So let's get started here under GP. Okay, let's go under geometric progression and we start also with two random terms. Now this one's going to be a little bit hectic, guys, so you need to pay attention. They tell you. So this is type 1, type 1, geometric. Okay. In a geometric progression or in a geometric sequence, let's say the, um, let's say the third, let's go the third term, the third term is 4 and the sixth term, sixth term is 40. Find the sequence. Also worth six marks, guys. Question in the exam. Final answer. Right. Now it's a geometric progression. It is not an arithmetic progression. And they're telling you we're given two random terms again. So the third term is given. The third term is 4 and the sixth term. So the third term and the sixth term. What did I t tell you? What is the rule? When two random terms are given, simultaneous equations. But it's geometric. So term 3, term 3 is known as what? Is known as AR to the power 2. Right? AR, term 3 is AR squared. So AR to the power 2 is equal to 4. And the sixth term is 40. So that is AR to the power 5 is equal to term 6. Term 6 is AR to the power 5 is equal to 40. Okay, we now need to solve for A and R. In an arithmetic, we needed to solve for A and D. In a geometric, we need to solve for A and R. Why? Because once we got A, we multiplied by our common ratio, we get our second term. Our second term times our common ratio, we will get our third term, and so on and so forth towards infinity. So, there's two ways of doing it. I'm going to do it by division, right? I'm going to do it by elimination. I'm not going to do it by substitution. Now, I cannot add or subtract them. They are unlike terms. I got AR squared and AR to the power 5. But they are multiplied. So what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. So I'm going to say equation number 2 divided by equation number 1. So I'm now going to have AR5 divided by AR2 is equal to 40 over 4. So A and A will cancel. R5 over R2 is R cubed is equal to 40 divided by 4 is 10. Okay, 40 divided. So now I've got R cubed is equal to 10. R, my cube root, uh, R is equal to the cube root of 10. And there we go. That is your common ratio. That is your common ratio. Your common ratio for this is the cube root of 10. So now we now need to solve for A. We've got R, we now need to solve for A. So let's take this and let's plug it into equation number 1. So now we say substitute substitute 3 over uh, the cube root of 10 for every r in equation number 1. Now what does equation number 1 look like guys? a r squared is equal to 4. We've got r so a r is the cube root of 10. So the cube root of 10 squared is equal to 4. So we got a into. Now the cube root of 10 would be Let's put this here as, um, we only want a, so a is equal to 4 over the cube root of 10 squared, right? 
because we're dividing. So A is equal to, now we're finding out what is our first, first term. So we go to our calculators, go to our scientifics, go to your fraction. We say 4 divided by, open brackets, uh, go to the cube root, the cube root of 10, go to the side, close brackets, squared, and we get 0, 0,86. So 0, 0,86 0, 0,86 being our first term. So 0, 0,86 is our first term. So there we go. We worked it out simultaneously. We got r is equal to the cube root of 10. We substituted uh, the cube root of 10 for every r in equation number 1. There we go. You could have put it in equation number 1 or you could have put it into equation number 2. We now get a is equal to 0, 0,86. So now let's go. If our first term is 0, 0,86 and it's geometric, so times the cube root of 10. So we've got 0, 0,86 times the cube root of 10. Now we're about to cut for an air break. What I'd like you to do, I want you to find the sequence. So take 0, 0,86, multiply it by the cube root of 10, get our second term. Take, zero, uh, take your second term's value, multiply it by the cube root of 10 to get your third term. Okay, so boys and girls, you've got three minutes to do it. Take it, substitute it back into, the, into, um, into this equation here. Uh, into your expression, you got 0, 0,86 times your common ratio to get your second term, times your common ratio to get your third term. We're now cutting for an ad break. We will continue as soon as we get back. Stay tuned. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the K-Way Math Show with me, Mohammed Kota from the K-Way Mathematics Institute here in Johannesburg. Guys, you are watching ITV and you are watching the best math show in the world. Now, we cut off before the ad break with type 1. What was type 1 in the geometric sequence when two random terms were given? Now, we did tell you that term 10 is AR to the power 9, term 20, AR to the power 19. Term 5, AR to the power 4. We're now going on to type 2, the geometric sequence. Now, just before we get to type 2, boys and girls, remember sequences and series grade 12s. This is a major component. This is not for grade 11s at all. It's going to continue over a series of episodes. Now, this, guys, this is the last of the Ramadan show. Remember, from next week, the times have changed. Okay, for the, for the K-Way Math program. So please log on to the ITV uh, networks. Go on to itvnetworks.tv. Check the schedule. Check our new, new times for our new slots for the episodes that will be running post-Ramadan. So from next week, guys, remember, new times, new shows. Okay, this was just a Ramadan special, but we will continue. Right, we're going to be continuing with the whole of sequences and series and remember grade 12s, we haven't even started with trigonometry, double and compound angles, grade 11s and 12s, so stay tuned, stay tuned to the program. Type 2, geometric sequence. Now, this is what type 2 in the exam could look like. If I told you, if 3x plus 4, 4x minus 3 and 7x minus 6 form the first three terms of a geometric sequence question number one find x or solve for x question number two find the twentieth term or let's make it find the find the tenth term That's how the question will appear in the exam. This is the answer. Now, this is very similar to the arithmetic one. We had 3x minus 4, 4x minus 3, 7x minus 6 form the first three terms of an arithmetic. There, and I told you, what was the rule? If unknowns are given in the sequence, we are going to be using for arithmetic, we use the common difference formula. For geometric, what formula do we use, guys? We use the common. To find unknowns, we use the common ratio formula and what do we know what is the common ratio formula t3 because it's geometric we need to use the common ratio formula so we go t3 divided by t2 is equal to t2 divided by t1 so this is term 1 term 2 term 3 so t3 7x minus 6 
divided by 4x minus 3 is equal to 4x minus 3 divided by 3x plus 4 because that is your common ratio formula. Now all we do is we cross multiply and we solve for x. So we're now going to get 7x minus 6 into 3x plus 4. Remember, I'm cross multiplying is equal to 4x minus 3 squared. 4x minus 3 times 4x minus 3 is 4x minus 3 squared. Okay, let's multiply this out. Remember, foil first, outer, inner, last. That will give me 21x squared plus 28x minus 18x minus 24 is equal to 16x squared minus 12 times 2 minus 24x plus 9. Now what do we have? 21x squared minus 16x squared. We're now going to get 5x squared. 28 minus 18. That will give me 10x. 10x plus 24x. Remember, minus 24 is going to come on the side as plus 24. So, 28 minus 18 is 10. 10 plus 24 plus 34x. So, we sorted with the x's. Minus 24 minus 9. Minus 24 minus 9, negative 33. Minus 33 is equal to 0. Now we come to a situation like this where we have a quadratic equation. So obviously we need to factorize it. You guys do have your calculators, scientific calculators out. Go to your factorize, press your solve, go to mode, equation, ax squared plus bx plus 3. We've got 5, 34, negative 33. equals your first solution 0 0.86 x is equal to 0 0.86 or your second solution x is equal to minus 7.66 now you've got two values for x guys grade 12s you've now got two values for x so we take the first x remember both are valid this geometric sequence produces two x values. So if it produces two x values, I'm going to have two separate sequences. So now we're going to take 0, 0,86 and substitute it for every x. Get my first sequence. If the question asks you to find both sequences and you take the negative 7,66, plug it into each of these terms and you will get your second sequence. Now let's look at the Let's look at, this is the answer to question number one. Let's look at the answer to question number two. Question number two says, find the tenth term, T10. We know T10 is AR to the power nine. T10 is equal to AR to the power nine. Now, obviously, in order to, to answer the question, to answer question number two, I need to find what are both my sequences. So if X was equal to 0, 0,86, so let's just move up here to the side to answer this one here. If x is equal to 0, 0,86, that's my first solution. Okay? I'm just erasing the questions here, guys, because I just need space. I want you guys to see what's happening. We're now finding the tenth term. So if x is equal to 0, 0,86, we now got my first sequence, 3 into 0, 0,86 plus 4. That's my first term. My second one is 4 into 0, 0,86, negative 3. My last one is 7 into 0, 0,86, minus 6. So my first three terms of that sequence would be, let's go back, comp, we go 3, open brackets, 0, 0,86, close brackets, plus 4 equals. My first term is 6,58, 6,58. There we go. This is... Sequence 1, sequence 1, that's if x, so this would be sequence 1. Sequence 2 would be that, so we've now got 6,58, we've got 4 into 0, 0,86, so 4 open brackets, 0, 0,86 close brackets, minus 3 equals, I now get 0, 0,44, 0, 0,44. My next term, 7 open brackets, 0, 0,86 close brackets, minus 6 equals I get 1 over 50 0 comma 0 2 so now I get 0 comma 0 2 so that are, those are my first three terms if x was equal to 0 comma 86 they want 
t10, the 10th term. 10th term is equal to, so from sequence 1, from sequence 1, the 10th term is ar to the power 9, which is equal to a. What is a? 6, 5, 8. What is your common ratio? We're going to divide these two. So we're going to take 0, 44 divided by 6, 5, 8. We now get 0, 066. 0, 0, 6, 7 to the power 9. Now all we do, we go into our calculators. So term number 10 from sequence 1, if x was equal to 0, 086, your first answer is 6, 58 into 0, 067, close brackets, to the power 9 equals, ooh, we get 1,79. The answer goes on. It becomes too huge. Okay. Now remember, we made this one up. So the answer here, we get 1,79 times 10 to the power negative 10. So basically, what does this look like? What does this look like? This looks like 0, 000. You got 10 decimal places, comma 1,79. Okay. That would be your first solution. The next solution, you're going to take ne negative 0. Uh, you're going to take negative 7,66. So from sequence number two. So let's go into sequence number two. So that's your first solution. Now we go sequence number two. If x, if x is equal to, so now we go sequence number two. If x is equal to minus 7, 66. So if x is equal to, so my sequence 3 into minus 7, 66 plus 4. That would be your first, 4 into minus 7, 66, minus 3. And you've you got 7 into minus 7, 66, minus 6. That is equal to the second sequence. We've got 3 open brackets, minus 7, 66, plus 4 equals. You get minus 18, 98. You're then going to have 4 open brackets, minus 7, 66, close brackets, negative 3 equals. You're then going to get minus 33, 64. And your next one, you got 7 open brackets, minus 7, 66, minus 6. And you're going to get minus 59, 62. Therefore, guys, therefore, T10 is equal to AR to the power 9. A, your first term, minus 18,98 into your common ratio. We're now going to take negative 33,64. We're going to take this and divide it by that. Divided by minus 18,98. We now get 1,77 to the power 9, which is equal to, we now go minus 18,98 open brackets, 1,77 close brackets, to the power 9 equals, and I get minus 3,236,35. So, guys, these are our two solutions for finding T10. Okay, guys, we are now coming to, to the end of the show, to the end of our Ramadan programming. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Remember, all these processes are on our DVD set. So please, log on if you would like to buy, purchase the set, the complete grade 11 and 12 set on special at the moment at 1450. Please send us an inquiry to kwaymath at gmail.com. The email is appearing on your screen and we will contact you. We'll get back to you and we will delivery, deliver your set within three to five working days. Now, to wrap up our Ramadan show, we've had a series of two, we've had eight shows. And in eight shows, I think we've covered a tremendous amount of work. I'd just like to thank you, the viewer, for joining us in this Ramadan show. Remember, our shows are going to continue next week. The times will change. Please stay tuned to ITV. Check on, our, on, our, on the ITV website, ITV, uh, dot, um, itvnetworks.tv, or you can even email me at kwaymath at gmail.com and we will give you next week's programming times. Remember, we're going to be continuing with this program and we need your input. We'd also like you to go onto the itvnetworks.tv, uh, the ITV Networks website, go on to the, click onto the Kway um, blog site, 
Go on to our blog, post your comments. Remember, we want to continue the show not only for grade 11s and 12s. We want to have this as a permanent fixture. We want to have grade 8s, 9s, 10s, 11s, 12s. We want to have the show to be able to cater for every learner in every grade across the schooling spectrum. So, once again, I'd like to thank you guys for being exceptional. I hope you guys enjoyed our live shows. We're going to be continuing with live shows too. Remember, from next week, two shows per week. From my side, Mohammed Kota, big thank you, a big jazakallah. May Allah bless you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you in every facet of your schooling career. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. And from our side and from the side of ITV, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. الجاد قد عظمت فللأمجاد بانيها ومن يسعى إلى العليا سيدركها بما فيها ويبني مجده جدلا فروح الفاد يعليها ليصبح همة تروي عن العليا